In this quick video, I'd like to show you how easily you integrate DragDropper with Sapier and send the forms anywhere you want. So just create a new page and drop in the forms section here. Within the forms section, you can put in your uh, form elements. So a text field, another text field, uh, an email, and of course we need a submit button to send the form. Then we just rename text to, let's say, first name and last name. And I just save the page because when I go to the form sections here, um, you will see we have a post type. And as soon as we save the page, by default, we write as action URL the URL of that page so that uh, forms are getting stored within uh, DragDropper. So you don't need those forms in DragDropper now. You need it somewhere else. Let's say in Salesforce or in um, ActiveCampaign or MailChimp or any other cool tool. And therefore, we use Sapier. So let's jump over to Sapier, create a new SAP. And then we pick webhooks from the Sapier triggers and the catch hook action. So I just pick the catch hook action. I continue. Uh, we can ignore this because uh, we send the data. Um, you will see it later. And we also can ignore that message. It just explains how it works. So I continue. And here is my hook URL. I get here, copy that hook URL. Don't press the button yet. Just go back to drag dropper and paste the URL in here to this actions field. Don't change anything else. Uh, what, what you can do as well is you can also add a redirect URL. So what should happen after uh, the form is filled, what should be next. And you can also redirect to a specific um, a drag dropper page. You, you, you can uh, uh, pick a project and select the page there and then the redirect goes there. I do nothing. So you see the success message of sending that hook. So paste it in the URL, hit the save button, and now let's check the page. So I get the shareable link, paste it here, and I just fill out the forms now. And hit submit. So here's the success message. Um, remember when you use a redirect URL or another uh, drag dropper URL, then you redirect it there. You don't see that message. This is just for you uh, a notification that it worked. Success. And we go to Sapier now and OK, I did this. I pasted it. And now Sapier starts checking the URL and finds, yeah, successfully uh, got a form filled out. And you can continue and pick the app of your choosing, uh, let's say here a Gmail, and I want to send an email, and I want to send it with this account. And now you have the regular setup process of Sapier, uh, so you define the action, and here you can see the fields that we filled out previously, and here is the email field, just pick it there. Uh, and yeah, you, so you can define your actions and send the data anywhere you want. Okay, have fun using Sapier.